how I'm getting a six return on my ad dollars with Amazon DSP. That is what I'm covering today in today's video. I'm Dr. Travis Ziegler and stay tuned because I'm gonna to try to convince you that you need Amazon DSP in your life. And as you know, we offer it as an agency. So if you're interested in getting DSP done for your brand, make sure you click that link down below in the comments, fill that out. But I'm gonna convince you why every brand needs DSP today. Amazon PPC may seem like a complex subject, but it doesn't have to be. Hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell to be notified whenever we come out with great brand building videos and videos on Amazon PPC. All right, so if you were here for last week's video, I went over whether you should do DSP or not. And in my mind, yes, you should do it. So spoiler alert on that video, but go back through that video. I go through the full funnel and just kind of go through a great article written by Helium 10. And I'll put that article down in the comments below too. But the great thing about this, and I'm going to show you that funnel here in just a little bit, is different parts of the funnel are going to give you a different return on your ad spend. And so at the very bottom of this funnel is the loyalty pillar. And as we move up, you're going to go after people that have purchased, people that are evaluating to purchase, then people that are considering your product, but they don't know, they're not brand aware, they're problem aware. And then you have brand awareness, which is just trying to get people to get to know who you are and what you do. And so let me show you how we're getting such a good return on our ad spend with DSP in iLove. And the main reason is because is we're focusing, we have $12,000 of budget per month, we're focusing our entire budget on the bottom of the funnel. So the first thing we're going after is we're remarketing. Remarketing is just simply going after somebody that's already purchased that product and you're re-advertising that same product to them again to get them to hopefully get on subscribe and save. So that's the ultimate goal is they've purchased in the past, we then wanna get them to purchase in the future and we wanna get them on subscription. So that's our main goal with remarketing campaigns and that's where we just drive repeat purchases. That's gonna give you such a high return on ad spend and when people brag about their Amazon DSP return on ad spend, it's usually because they're only focused on that loyalty, that remarketing pillar. And so that's what we focus on heavily with all of our consumers. And we're trying to get them on subscription. So the second campaign is a customer purchases campaign is we're going after people that have bought X, but not Y. So an example would be they bought our tea tree face wash, but they have not bought our eye cream yet. And so we're going to target people that have bought our face wash. They haven't bought our eye cream with ads all over the internet with demand side platform with Amazon DSP, but are black sunglasses but not our brown sunglasses same sunglass style but they didn't buy both colors bought our hydrate linen lash cleanser but they didn't buy our eye cream and so this is a, actually a great way to launch a new product and so if you sell complementary products to each other this is a huge market for you and so if you're not selling complementary products then what are you doing build a brand come on build a brand but anyway so bought x not y so we just launched our eye cream a couple weeks ago and we sold 500 in the first week because we built an audience. We were building a brand, but here's the cool part. We're now waiting for reviews to come in. We enrolled in the Vine program. We did our launch. We're now asking our customers how it is, and then we're going to get all our reviews in. So hopefully we'll get, you know, that, that boosts in ratings and reviews. Once we hit about seven to 10 reviews, we're going to do bought X, not Y campaigns with a 50% off coupon. So a 50% off coupon for our eye cream. And if you bought any of our hydrate products in the past, we're going to target you with the eye cream with a 50% off coupon code. And so that's going to give us another kind of boosting momentum boosting on that listing on top of search, because those people may not be in the market for an eye cream and they're not searching actively on Amazon. So we're, we're targeting that too. We're targeting search campaigns, but we're also targeting previous customers all over the internet to, to buy again from us, buy our new product that just came out. And then finally, one of my favorites, is, there's actually two of them. So um, retargeting campaigns. So retargeting, we're moving up in that funnel. So loyalty, purchase, and now we're, we're going after customer intent. So the customer ha is in the market for what you offer, but they have not purchased it yet. And how we go after that is we retarget. So it's like a pixel, a Facebook pixel. Somebody lands on your page. You can then retarget them because they landed on that page and you can retarget them with whatever you want. Somebody lands on your page, your product page, and then you or they leave and don't purchase. Let's say they're in the grocery store line, they went to purchase, but it's their turn to go, so they just put it back in their pocket and they completely forgot. Well, you retarget them with a retargeting ad from Amazon DSP, and you retarget them because they've seen your product, they're familiar with it, and they're just gonna come back to purchase. So you're retargeting them, 
they didn't buy, but they were on your detail page. Now the second part of retargeting is competitor conquesting. And competitor conquesting is fun because they may be in your market to purchase, so I sell eyelid wipes. If they've looked at all these different eyelid wipes to purchase, but they haven't looked at my brand yet, but they haven't purchased eyelid wipes, you can retarget them with eyelid wipes. And so that's another cool part of DSP. And those are the three things that we focus on that are giving us that four to six return on ad spend. And so pretty amazing ad spend in my mind. And I hope you are too, and I hope this convinced you. So we started at the bottom and drive repeat purchases on the same product to get them on subscribe and save. That's the goal. Then we go for cross-selling, bought X, not Y, bought our face wash, not our eye cream. And then we go after retargeting for our own products. So they were on our listing, they jumped off without buying, we retarget them back to our listing. And then we go after competitor conquesting. So they, they're in the shopping area, they've, they're they looking for eyelid wipes, they haven't seen our page, but we retarget them. So you're getting your competitors pixeling data with that, which is incredible. I mean, Facebook doesn't give you that, so Amazon gives you that. That's all we focus on. We're spending $12,000 a month to make 50,000. We're actually starting to move up the funnel again um, we probably will do that by the end of this year, 2021, but right now we're just trying to stick to these three lanes, repeat purchases, bought X, not Y, competitor conquesting and retargeting our own products. So we're adding more products into that mix over and over again to increase that, that budget even more or to increase the sales even more. So, um, I hope that convinced you. I mean, Amazon DSP is amazing demand side platform. You need to be doing it. It is just a complete part of the funnel. If you're smaller doing less than 10 K a month, I maybe wouldn't recommend it for you, but Hey, fill out the form down below. Let me know if you're interested in us quoting you DSP services, and I'd be happy to do that for you. And then, yeah, we'd love to help you out. So let me know down in the comments below. Also fill out that form if you're interested in DSP and looking forward to hearing from you soon. Amazon PPC may seem like a complex subject, but it doesn't have to be. And that is why we created this channel. On top of Amazon PPC, we're going to share different tactics and strategies that we've used to build a multi-million dollar business, as well as the strategies that we're using to build a $100 million company, which is our goal. We don't know how we're going to get there yet, but that's our goal and we want to take you along for the ride. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell to be notified whenever we come out with great business building and the Amazon PPC strategies.